look up 2000s topics because we need a 2000s topic, you know? First thing that comes up, September 11th terrorist attacks. Yikes. Oh, no. Yeah. I wonder what the year. Iraq war, the Iraq war. Boxing Day tsunami. Year. Wait, why do they call it Boxing nine, Day? though. Do not, it's a tsunami, not Boxing Day. You don't well, like, it punched the, the, the small town of... Where that hit? I don't know where that hit. I... I'm just... Man, Google, could you could you put something a little happy? You know, like maybe some Club Penguin. Google isn't maybe happy. Maybe a little bit of RuneScape. How Google about isn't those, happy. How about those weird, like, Flash-based websites where you could talk with other kids? You could build uh, your own Flash. Cool custom rooms. I miss Flash. Hey, Flashpoint, my guy. It's not the same. But it's close enough. Kid, oh, kid it's not. Up. It's like it's like it's like it's like you know, like you you go to the hospital, you check your child into like a daycare, you know, and then they come out with the kid who kind of looks like it, and then they're like, oh, this is like you know, like that's not my kid, and like ah, oh, it's close enough. <laughs> what? Who? Who? What? What <laughs> hospital did you go to? Are you okay? Do you? Do you? Do you need to say something? Yeah, well, uh, I'm going to introduce my new child. His name is uh, Joey. Say hello, Joey. Hello. See? Yeah. Papa, what were you saying? That's his <laughs> that was, last that was the item? stupidest bit I've ever done. I don't know. I was saying something. Yeah. Um, I was like, kid, kid, why do you sound so empty? <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> oh, because I hate college. I got something, I got oh. something 2000s on my shelf. Me looks over at my shelf of like over 300 VHS tapes. You have a problem? No, I don't. Speaking of VHS tapes, uh, if you follow me on Twitter, well, it's highly. <laughs> oh, wait, I haven't posted on Twitter yet. Well, we're recording this on the 5th. This is coming out on the 14th. So, yeah, so go back to the 6th because I'll post it tomorrow. I made a Wee Bear Bears movie VHS and it came out really good. And I, I'm really happy with it. You know, I like that. It's cool. All right, let Did me see here. Custom print thing. This is Wee Bear Bears the movie on it, on the on on the on the tape. No, I need to um, I need to print right, out can a I pick uh, it up? a uh, a uh, a. Uh, oh my God. Does the sound pick up on this? What is that? Is that a pen? It's so clicky. <laughs> it's a Bakugan. Oh, I thought it was one of those pens that have like multiple colors, you know, and everybody trying to get all the colors out at once. Never could, though. I'm d Never could. You can't see it, but I got a whole Baku rack full of Baku gone. You call me blind? It's, like, it's just like real life. We'll never get all, we'll never get all the colors together. And wow. that is weirdly poignant for a satirical comedy sketch. That was, that was, <laughs> that was pretty, pretty deep there, man. Oh, Man. um, I need I need to print out a label. Uh, so if you don't know what Wee Bear Bears first is, first of all, for wow, <laughs> English is my first language. Can you tell? If you don't know what Wee Bear Bears is, first of all, how dare you not know what that is? It's like, okay, it's been I've been having a debate with myself if it's my favorite show or not. Because both, like, Spongebob and Weebe Bears are, about, like, both make me feel the same way on some way, on some levels. Like, Weebe Bears makes me feel, like, really, really happy. I feel safe with it. I just, you know, it's, like, really comforting. But then that's the same thing with Spongebob. But Spongebob makes me laugh more. It's more quotable. But I would rather watch Weebe Bears over Spongebob sometimes. But I don't know. It, it, it's really complicated and confusing. I just really like Weebe Bears. Hey, uh, do any of y'all think you can beat my Hammer Gorum? You're what? Um, I got a chaos type hammer gorum with 530 G's. Try to beat that. If you hear like weird noises in the background, like a roar, roar, that's my dog. He's in my bed. He tends to. Yeah. yeah. You got Did like a up? weird. <laughs> Did that bark pick up? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, that's him. He's rolling around. He rolls around on his back on my bed. I'm going to get a little bit closer. Hold on. All right. We're going mobile. 
Bakugan you better, call, you better call. You better call him a good boy right now. Max, you're a good boy. I'm opening up all of my Bakugan. For those of you who, those of you who do not know what kind of dog I have, I have a black and tan, uh, long-haired dachshund. A wiener dog. Well, he's like halfway between miniature, halfway between uh, miniature and standard. It's because... Uh, what are you doing over there, dude? Did you hurt yourself? Are you okay? You How okay? did the wing break <laughs> off on my Dragonoid? He uh, made a weird noise. Oh, by the way, the... <laughs> those kind of sounds coming from my microphone. Yeah, that'll eventually stop. I gotta get a uh, guard. I forgot what those are called. I know what they're called. I just... I'm blinking on it for some reason now. Oh, oh, pop like a pop preventer or whatever. I I definitely need one of those for sure because I listening to recordings on this new microphone. I, there's a lot of like that sound. Oh man, my those aren't that much though. My Neo Dragonoid has a broken wing. Well, and it's the cool one that spins. Well, six hundred fifty G's. Um. Oh man, I'm telling you. If any of y'all, if any of y'all in the comments want to have a Bakugan brawl, square up. Oh, he'll, he'll take you on. He's, he's about to kill you. The Doom card. I need to get a microphone arm, like so I can actually have my microphone at a good pitfall. Because I'll be like right here, and then I'll be like right here, or you know, right here. Right there for no reason. It, it's really, and you can hear, you know, a lot. That's just me moving around in my chair, trying to move around, and, 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 you know, just don't, you know, it's whatever. I just need to get our, um, ours are for my microphone, which I highly recommend. Me, oh my God. The box is down here. Ow. The Razer, uh, Siren Mini, S E R I E N Mini. Uh, it's what I'm currently using. It's a very, very good microphone. I don't know how well it's going to pick up because we are recording this off of Discord, but trust me, it is very, very good. And it's even streamer certified. Huh. Look at that. It says around the box. Yep. Um, the only complaint I would really have is that, you know, it doesn't have a, like a, Pop, pop filter. My, my filter. <laughs> well, look on Amazon real quick and see how much those are. I also oh, got yeah. a Ventus yeah. Percival. I highly doubt anyone's gonna know what I'm talking about, but if you know, you know. Yep. You know. You know. You know. You should know that you know. You know. You know. Sometimes in life. Oh, I uh, yeah. So. Got, I had an interview today at Fred Meyer, which if you don't know what that is, which I'm assuming is a lot of you, it's basically Kroger. It's Kroger. It's a, it's a grocery store. It's a grocery store. Yeah, what, if they, what if they don't know what Kroger is? It's a grocery store. Uh, look up what Fred Meyer is if you don't know what it is. Okay, okay. I'm not your I'm not your guardian. I don't know. You know. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, I had an interview and I got it, and so I got the job with it today, and yeah, that was. Fun. Oh, what? When did I get yeah. a Bakugan with a thousand G's? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. I thought Kit. you were talking. I thought you were referring to the job, not a Bakugan. <laughs> Kit, I have a question. Hi. Yeah. Since you're going to be working at Fred Meyer and you're going to be making money at Fred Meyer, that technically means we're sponsored by Fred Meyer. <laughs> Kinda. I, I can't argue with that logic. Uh, check the link in the. If you hear weird noises, it's because I'm messing with my microphone. Stop it! Guess this bug-looking one. Okay, that arm's not gonna work. I need what? Do, what do I have again? So, I Gindy, any news else. with you? Can I recommend? I'm just else? looking through my Bakugan me. collection. <laughs> How insightful! There we go. Very. I need an arm. I thought I had Mindy. a lot more Bakugan than this. Do I have any more? It has a little Mindy. stand to clarify. Y yeah. Will you ever get the Bakugan game for Switch? 
Don't... By the way, it's, by the way, it's sixty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> he ascended. <laughs> so, I'm, gonna, I'm basically advertising this microphone because <laughs> I really like it. Six. It's a it's a fifty dollar microphone, but it's very high quality. I honestly, it's USB. I honestly, I really, if you want it, I highly recommend it. If you're looking for a microphone and you're trying to record things, I like legitimately cannot recommend it enough. So yeah, that's my little advertisement. I gotta figure out if this stand will work because it's only eighteen dollars. You know, that's all I really need. Uh, is that for? Yeah, I'm not picking up the new Bakugan game. Partly because I don't even know anything about the new Bakugan. I'll be right back. I'm just here with my old I'm just here with my old collection from back in the day. You know I have there's, the Maxis Dragonoid. I don't know where that thing is. There is currently a Mayfly drinking water off of the counter. Wild, wild. And here I am, just putting them back. Ooh, maybe I can do some Bakugan card reading ASMR while uh, we wait for the kit to return. Gindy, he drink? He, he do be drinking, though. Uh, he be thirsty. Man. When I was a kid, I could have... I remember... My dad was getting my older brother a copy of Spore, and he's like, Oh, ooh, he do be drinking, though. He do be drinking. Yeah, my dad was uh, getting me, my brother, and my sister Hello? different things. So she, my sister asked for a doll. My brother got the game Spore. And as a kid, I was like, I'm thankful. I don't want anything. I could have gotten so many different things. Want to know what I picked? Ouch bubble gum. Yeah, but ouch bubble gum is good. You got, you got bubble gum and then you got a, he got a video game? Yeah. I, to be fair, I, I was kind of dumb as a kid. I was like, yeah, but I, I don't want to be a burden. I don't want to annoy you. All right, cool. This does work for yeah, my that, microphone. That, okay. that time we went to... Um, a used game store at the mall, oh, yeah. and um, my brother gets a DS gets a DSI, and I can't think of what to pick, and I don't want mine to be too expensive because they already spent a bunch of money on him. So I just get <laughs> I just get a Funko Pop. Dang! Brother got a whole DSI. There we go. Yep. All right. Yeah, oh, a, DS, a DSI, a pink DSI, Place where the the R the R button do doesn't work. There we go. And the bottom screen is scratched up. Pink, you say. And when you play games on it, there's uh, little blue pixels on the screen. Pink, That's you say. It. So I really wanted... Back on Bakugan, I really wanted one of those hand launchers like they had in the show. But instead, I got like the one-handed thing. I, I, ha I ha brought myself I have a, a microphone arm. Yeah. Okay, like legit, okay? On Amazon, right? If you order something and you don't want it, and it already came, and you're going to return it, and it asks you, huh, uh, why, why why are you returning that? You don't want to say, like, oh, I don't want this, or, you know, you, what you say is you ordered it by mistake, because otherwise you'll be charged for a small amount of what it costs you. So, what I, like, so you do, if you do, I didn't mean to order this, it'll essentially be like oh well sorry we won't charge you for it then so that there's a little life hack for you all right yeah my pop filter i've got eight dollars my lord that is expensive that's a joke 
I was okay. I grew up poor. Okay, so anything over hey, like five dollars hey. is expensive to me. Dude, like <laughs> most of my Bakugan collection, I got just because I traded Swiss cake rolls with kids on the <laughs> school ground. You want you want to know how poor I was? We were in the two thousands. Sure. We had one year. We had to have okay. There was two Christmases. Okay, one Christmas we we had to shop at the dollar store. <laughs> And then another Christmas, we bit, like, had almost no money, and we had to have a Christmas at Walgreens. Wow. And the best thing we got that year, we had for years, and we loved them. They're like, straight up, like, life, like, like, life spots, like, life-size Spongebob pillows. Oh my <laughs> god, those, are, I miss those pillows, they were amazing. They, they were like, straight up, like, they were like, three, they were like three foot tall. And they were so comfortable. And, mm. and yes, they came in green packaging. Man, let me. All right, I'm gonna see if I can try to get yeah. like a Bakugan brawl going. Oh, I All guess right. that is two days. The box. Okay. In this... I used to have... Cool. Oh. All right, cool. The pop filter will get here Saturday. One of the first yes. ever games I had for PlayStation Three was the Baku Bakugan Battle Brawlers. And I, it's it okay. You, the way you played it was you you each you each person was on um, each side, and you throw out your Bakugan, and you'd be able to control it with the motion controls of the uh, wire the wireless PS3 controller, and uh, and then you had to land on you had to land on the card, and then you both, both land on the card. You did the battle. And that is the only reason I ever knew how to play a game with that game. And then we couldn't hey, play hey. it anymore. That's, the, no. that's actually the only way most people learn how to play the actual game. Then, then our, then our uh, PS3, or PS3 uh, controller broke. So we had to get third-party ones. We couldn't play the game anymore. <laughs> Damn. Because you, need, you needed motion controls. What? But I hear the game is best on DS. Oh yeah, the DS version's incredible. Oh. You know what would be great as a DS game? What? Among Among Us? Weird, but, um, yeah, Among Us. Among Us would be such a good DS game. It, it, it gives me DS, DS game vibes. It, like, think of like the tasks that you do. Those are such like DS like stylus games. Um, and, what, like, it, it just like seems like a um, down, download game. play. Each person is, is a different color crewmate. Yeah. It just feels like one. <laughs> All right. So, so I, sent, I sent something in the chat. It's a Barbie uh, cash register. I just looked up 2000s toys everybody had just to get, you know, jog some memories or whatever. Oh, I, I forgot I had... I had this. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't that. Have it. It, was my, it was my sister's. You guys know what this is? My sister, my sister had that. What? <laughs> my sister had it too. I, oh I, my I God, think that... I had it at one point. I remember I had it. But it was a hand me down for my sister. I Did have... you guys? Oh, go ahead. With Barbie, we used to play with like my sister. We would play Barbie with her. Just because we just wanted to mess around and stuff. I was always, um, whatever the brown haired girl's name is, and she wore like. Summer? Like, I don't know. What is that? The one thing, like, cro- like the crocheting or whatever that, like, grandmas do. It's like that, like, kind of scratchy material, the holes in it. Crochet? Yeah. She, the girl I, guy I always was wear a cro- cro- crochet dress, and my brother was always Ken. <laughs> <laughs> my sister was always Barbie, and the funny, it was the most hilarious thing ever when I was a kid, where we had one of those, uh, what are they, what are, are they, I don't know what they're called, where they have like the spikes on one end and you put your hand on it and it makes the shape of your hand. Oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I like those. We had, we had one of those, and they were having, like, the three of them were having a barbecue. <laughs> it's so, so funny to me. My br- my my brother has Ken at the um, grill, which was we we're using the, the the spiky hand the hand thing as a grill, eh. and he goes he goes, Barbie, look, and he and then he bends over Ken, bends over Ken and makes him just put his face in the grill and just burn his face, <laughs> and then immediately after his his back and his spine just snaps and he just dies. 
<laughs> and he goes to that. And he goes like, and then he just literally in half. And then he, my brother, my brother goes, did you, did you, did you see Barbie? <laughs> <laughs> he just he just snapped his spine and dies. <laughs> Bakugan fields thing. open. We weren't allowed to play Barbie after that. <laughs> Doom card activate. Did you guys for ever? For some reason, um... she always for some reason she always insisted that that Ken did not wear a shirt. <laughs> Bakugan so brawl. Did Blade you guys ever Rira have? Sam. Did you guys ever have littlest pet shops? My sister I, I, had a lot of them. I had a, I had a my, few of them. One of them was like on a pen or something, and she just pulled it off. My sister had some, and I, I got into them, so I would get them too. And the great thing was, they were so cheap. Like, they're like $3, and you get like a you get the pet shop everything. So, me, me and my sister, like those like giant storage tubs, we had like one of those. And my sister had like so many of the play sets and everything. And we... uh marked which ones were mine uh i don't what did we do with those i think we i think we gave them all away to somebody it's like a little girl because we drag we out Stand. um we would we would mark them mine with a red marker on like the pause or something yeah battle remember, gear activate and i remember um yeah i remember when they introduced like the humans and it was like really weird when they did that that was Freaky. Oh yeah, I watched a a YouTuber Gindy that they uh, got sent by band by Bandai. They got sent a bunch of Bakugan, and like they didn't even tell him when they just straight up sent it to his home address, and they somehow got his home address. <laughs> and then just and he he was so mad because he thought he because they sent a whole big thing of a whole bunch of Bakugan with like a battle arena and like whole like sets of them and along with the Baku and the, along with the Bakugan Switch game. He thought it was toys to life. Oh. <laughs> and he was so mad. I'll be really close to your microphone. <laughs> yes. Gate card open. G Power Exchange. Blade Tigrera to goes to, to five hundred G's and Drago goes to Alright, see here's seven nine. He was so he was so mad. It was so funny because he thought it was Toys to Life, and then he just ended up just giving it away to fans because he was so <laughs> mad that it wasn't actually um compatible with the game. This All right. is so. Drago weird. has nine eighty. I'm unlocking but... memories in my head because I'm looking at little pest shops still. And I'm rem- remembering all of these, like uh, all of the pets. And I'm just Oh my god, it's so weird to see these again. With G-Power Exchange, oh no, because of the Doom card, Dragonoid hey, what goes are you going on? What dimension. are you going on about over there? Are you okay? Dragonoid has been removed from play, and player two gets the first <laughs> point. There's no turning back. There's no turning back for him. We've lost him. He's in, he's in the world of destroying at this point. Yeah, he's straight up gone. Oh, hey, you remembered the name, Bob. Yes, I rarely ever watched Bakugan as a kid <laughs> because I was so confused at what was going on. I didn't really, and I got into Bakugan way too late, around like 20, yeah, I, 2015 is when I got into yes. Bakugan. It was way too late for Bakugan. I, I played Bakugan <laughs> from around... <laughs> All right, let me think here. When was the first... I want to say at least 2009 to about 2012. I keep on, I keep on swapping Beyblade and Bakugan in my head. I I know what they are. I know what I know. Bakugan is the one with the tops. What's I'm not? So... Wait, it's wait. the one with the tops. That's, wait, the, I don't... that's the one with wait, the balls. Stop! I, I don't know what we're talking. What are we talking about? Bakugan I grew up on Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, not Cartoon Network, and four kids. Bakugan. Bakugan was the one with the balls. Yes. Oh my god. I know about. Okay. Oh my god. Bay- oh my Beyblade god. is the tops. Yeah. Beyblade was yeah, the spinning I, tops. I knew that in my head, and yet it came out like that. I. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. I know Bakugan is the one with the balls. Okay. Yeah, the guy like you know, get the balls. You get the cards and like a magnet on the cards and like open up. Yeah, that's Bakugan. No, no. Beyblade Bakugan is... has a Bay- magnet. <laughs> I don't know. The cards are like a slab of metal that you opened. Okay, cool. We're on that topic then. Okay. Um, I remember the first time I saw one, 
I was in an RV for some reason. It was just in our backyard at my dad's house. And um, I found it. I don't know where. And yeah, it was just weird to me that it like, opened, opened up with like a magnet and everything. And I'd use my Thomas's, like little magnetic Thomas's, and just like put them on the bottom and yeah. make it open up. It was cool to me. Yeah. Gindy. I have an obscure one <gasps> for you. Oh! What? Oh! Gindy. Do you remember Dagadar? Vaguely remember Dagadar. It was literally just like you... weighted balls that would roll around and had a game to it. We never forget how to play it. It was so do complicated. You, do you guys remember when McDonald's had Beyblades? No, wait, no. Oh. Bakugan. Bakugan. They had oh Bakugan, but. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Their Bakugan were cheap, though. They. I, I even had friends in my school group who were like. You can use any Bakugan except for the McDonald's ones. Hey, just just be thankful that it wasn't from Wendy's. You may have cardboard or Kanex, okay? Hey, at least oh, with Wendy's. Oh, the Kanex! The... Oh my god, I hated Kanex. Oh my god, they those still, were so stupid. They, they still have that at Wendy's. That's I just had Wendy's today. <laughs> Another. At least Wendy's did have some good stuff, like the UB Funkies. Uh, promo with the with the CD-ROM games and the bobblehead. Was there a toy that you guys wanted as a kid, but you couldn't get it? Mm, where do I begin? The oh, Spider-Man oh. web shooter. I always thought it looked stupid, because it's like a big thing on your arm. I had, a, I had a cousin who owned like three of them. It was so cool. I need to find a name of mine. Hold on, Pop. You go on. You go on with yours, or again to continue. I gotta find. What's I gotta a, find the. What's another one. Because I know, I I oh I wanted it so badly. At one point, I wanted Gormiti because at first what? the commercials, Gormiti. It was like this weird little figure game where, if you had a certain number on the figure, then you'd win. You just needed game? one yeah. figure each to win the game. It, it was very primitive. It's like the bottom of the barrel of 2000's fads. What? Gormiti what did it? not last. Did Fighting Foodons have a card game, or am I remembering wrong? I don't know. Um... Yeah, Fighting Foodons, it was... Oh. That's what it was called! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. You, go, you can go on, you can go on. Fighting food arms was like Pokemon, but everything is food. Oh you my had god! To make the Pokemon it sounds like a Pokemon. It sounds like a Pokemon Go parody. <gasps> and the thing with fighting That's food arms, right, yes! it was oh like this. Oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. It was like this one character who was just a cat girl for no reason, and at the end of it, she turned back to human. Spoilers. I found out what it was called. Okay. Okay, I'm going to describe it to you. So I'm going to explain why I wanted this so badly. I saw a commercial. That's the only reason I wanted it, okay? It looked yeah. like the coolest toy in the world. It's called... Res it's a rescue pet. It's swim to me puppy. It's all it is. It's like a little dog. With, with, and it comes with goggles. And he can swim in like real water. And I wanted it so badly as a kid, but it was oh, so the expensive. Cool or the bath? It, it either like, whatever kind of body of water. <laughs> just be awkward. Just be awkward. Or dog swims you. Oh naked. my god! I saw this. Oh, and I saw one at Google like like a couple of years ago, and I'm like, oh my god, I remember that. There. Okay. Oh my god. There is a toy. I doubt there's anyone out there who would know what this toy is. I think it was Little Tykes. It's okay. I've got to find this toy again because I've seen it twice in my life as a kid. And gave it to my little brothers at my dad's house, and I saw it at Google. And I it like, booms in my face, just slapped me in the in the face, killed my dog, ran over my neighbor. Kind of nostalgia, you know. I don't know what kind of analogy that was, but it's a lantern. Who like you turn his little knob, I think, and he like lights up. And all I remember is, um, there's a baby oh cry. It's like, it's like it's like it's like it's like, and then you're like. Ooh. Oh, I ate a book. Oh, I ate a book. When you, when you eat a book. Like, I don't, he had a face and he talked. I, 
I don't know if anyone out there knows what this toy was, but please, if you know what it was, please tell me. I'm going to look into it because I got to find this. I'm going to look up. I ate a book at Lantern. One day I want to get one of those old metal bay blades just so I could screw with my cousins who have the uh, plastic ones they got now. Yeah. Because those ones, their gimmick is that they break apart. That's the that's the top, right? Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's the top. Right. <laughs> Making sure. I never really got into Beyblade. I watched the anime every now and again whenever it was on, but mainly just Lantern. because, mainly just because I was waiting for when Sidekick or uh, Total Drama came on. Oh, I love Total Drama Island. Oh my Anyone... god, freaking love that show. Does anyone remember Sidekick? I don't. It, the whole gimmick was it was these kids who became superheroes. It, it, Never seen it. Also, one of them was like the teacher was evil or something. <laughs> Never seen what was it on? <gasps> there it is! There it is! Ah. Oh my god! Oh, that's so weird! Oh my god, that is so weird to see him again! No. Oh my god, it's like seeing like a friend you haven't seen in like 10 years! Oh my god, I'm so... <laughs> oh now that my, my horrific incident of terror play, is over, play school, what is it? Play school lit the magic talking lantern toy. Oh my god. Oh, oh hey, that's lit, Kit. I oh my god, I am so happy that I found him. There's a video <gasps> that's a video I think of him talking. Oh my god, I gotta watch the video. Hold on. I'm gonna watch the video. Man, I wonder. I kinda wanna check out the new Bakugan to see what's up with them, but at the same time I don't need anything else that is expensive for me. Oh my god, it's so weird. He was Man. Australian? Oh, he was Australian, apparently. Crikey! He's like, oh, I had a book. Oh my god, I can't believe I found that. I am so, so happy. Oh my god. It seems stupid, you know? Just like, oh, it's just like this toy, but... Toys? Yeah, but still, Back in still. the day, like... Toys really, like, can unlock a lot of memories. Like, even if it's something that you didn't really play with much, you just, it was always, like, in your, like, play area. Toys, I feel like, always really just, for me at least, it brings back a lot of memories. And it, I get, like, a flood of memories every time. Like, I was at an antique store, and they had something that was, like, I, I forgot what it was. Oh, it was, oh, like, my. a hospital kind of thing. And I never really played with it, but it was always with the little pet shops. And so seeing at the antique yeah. store, even though I didn't have any nostalgia playing with that toy, I got nostalgia from the toy, like getting the memories of always seeing it and the little pet shops and, and looking at the people inside and being like, like, oh, why are they doing that? You know, thinking, you know, like, it, 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 oh my God. It, yep. I'm on eBay <sighs> looking, I'm on eBay looking for that one Bakugan I really wanted as a kid, but didn't get because it uh, only came with the DS one, and I got the wrong DS one for Christmas. Darn. The Blue Naga. It's forty dollars now. Uh, still, heck, without without my care for Bakugan, it I would have probably never gotten my DS. Yeah. Well. Oh, I gotta, I gotta appreciate it though. There's another toy of my childhood. I don't remember. I don't. I legitimately. Oh, I don't remember the noise it made. I don't remember what it looked like. I just remember. I think we got it from a dollar store, and it was like some weird, furry little gremlin creature. And it just made. I think it made like a <laughs> kind a of noise. Like, no, 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 not Furby. No, it was like from the dollar store. It was just like you press a button and it made like a. F it freaked me out as a kid. The noise that it made it freaked me out. I, I, I think it laughed. It laughed really weirdly. It was like it was like I don't know. I can't do do high pitched laughs. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna att attempt again. It's like. 
yeah. kind of thing. I, it is. It, it was like a kind of like a like a like a monster. It kind of looked like Wild Mike from back the barn from barnyard. I think. That sounds I, that's so familiar. That in my head, is what I'm thinking of. Like, I I don't know. It's just again, if you know anything about these toys, besides you know like you know the lantern, I figured that one out. Please tell me, because that I I that's when I was like four. Man, vintage Bakugan are so expensive now. Yep. Man, I'm just. Did you get... oh, go ahead. Just, I'm just out here trying to see if I can find like a bucket of these that somebody left behind. Because I remember by the time I was in high school and I was getting really into anime, one guy straight up gave me his old collection. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Dude had some Bakugan that I hadn't seen in years. Wanted to get a hold of them. Gave me basically a double the amount of cards I had. Well, I guess I, I guess I know what to use in case of an emergency. Yeah. Just, just pawn all my Bakugan on eBay. <laughs> oh, I had this one as a baby, and I remember playing with it when I was older. We always would keep it out in the shed. And I would, when I went out there, I would, I would like bring it inside to play with because it was just kind of fun. It's um, one of those pop-up toys, like you know, like you press like a button or do a switch or something, and a character will pop up. It was Sesame Street, and um, this isn't the same one as I had, but I mean, the, I'm I'm looking at something. I'm looking at pictures of a similar one, and there was it was it's Sesame Street, right? So it's like it was like it was like Ernie. He would sing. Um, he would sing like Rubber Ducky. Uh, Oscar. Oscar would sing. I love trash. Oh, there it is. It was Ernie, Elmo. Oh, I'm sorry, Oscar, Elmo, Ernie, and then Cookie Monster. And the Oscar is in a garbage can. Elmo's in a toy box. Ernie is looks like a toilet, but it's a bathtub. And Monsters, Mon Monster, Cookie Monster is in a. Uh, Cookie jar. Oh, wild. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. I. Ah, oh, man. Oh. Hi. We've just been talking My about toys. Died. <laughs> yeah, we've been talking about toys. Yeah. Did you guys ever have that one sandbox that's a, that's a, like a like a turtle? Turtle. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I thought they only made it of turtle. We, my um, at my dad's house, we didn't have one of those. We had a we just they, they just basically took like four boards and just nailed them together and then put it in four the play boards. area. They put it in the play wow. area and then just dumped sand into it. My four little brother, boards. my little brother. My, so this is gonna probably embarrass him. I don't care. Um, when he was around four or five, we were me. We I have two little brothers. They're twins. They don't look like each other because scientific reasons. I don't care. Um, he stands up and pulls his pants down and just starts peeing in the sand box. What the heck? <laughs> it was so gross. And we had to take the hose and just take the and take it out and put we um uh, our my dad and stepmom they had to put the hose out into the sandbox, which I was down for because I loved playing with the water and the hose, like the, the water and the hose, the water and the sandbox together because it was it was really cool. I had like Tom, I had like Thomas's out there and I'm like. Make it like a flooded beach and things like that. It was just a lot of fun then. And I can make the the sand would get all like like sludgy. So I was like, oh, this is boiler sludge, like in the show and things like boiler that. Boiler sludge. <laughs> yeah, it's a kind of thing. I think from, it's an actual thing, but it was I I know I knew it from the show. Boiler sludge. Yeah. Not the boiler. <gasps> oh my god! Don't wake up, Daddy. That's Whoa. that 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 um board game. It's like a. You press like a, a clock, and then it's kind of like it's kind of like um. What can I compare it to now? <sighs> that name is problematic. Yeah, true. Don't wake father. Hey. Do not wake your father. Do not wake up your father. It's kind of like pie face. It's kind of like pie face almost. Don't wake up your father. You guys work in the morning. It's kind of like pie face almost. Um. You you press an alarm clock and you like go around the board and like you land on something you gotta spin it that many times you gotta press it that many times oh, and it's yeah. random each time. 
on what it, it will be. I never actually got to play it. Same. Oh, that's so weird. It's it's oh, oh. <laughs> it's it's that um that microphone robot from Toy Story. I didn't even fathom that it was an actual thing. That is so weird. Hey, of course it's a real thing. Most of the toys in Toy Story are, except for the main characters. That is so weird. That's 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 awesome. That's 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 weird. <laughs> You're weird. It's wild. Where is Wait, my Maxis Dragonoid? Wait, the Toy Story robot? The, the, that ro little, like... It's like a robot that was... That's a real robot toy? Or was that made from the movie? That's a replica. That's a really good replica, oh my god. It's like oh, that yeah. Blue, that's like that little blue robot that, like, um, carries the snake out of the bed. I don't know how to describe him. Well... So this has been a nice little trip down memory lane of the 2000s, huh? Talking about old toys. Yep. Uh, talking about childhood memories, you know. And I'm serious so... about the comment section. Somebody better throw down with me in some old school Bakugan, or I am sending Pop to the Doom Dimension. And he'll do please, it. Please, I can't. Please, I can't go back. So, any final thoughts on childhood toys? Anything? I wish I could have gotten the Maxis Helios. But I'm glad I got Maxis Dragonoid. Yeah. I, as a kid, you want to get a toy, but you can't always get the toy. But, yeah. I was going to go somewhere with that, but then I just, my brain died. So just play with the ball in the store and then put it back when you're done. <laughs> yeah. Did anybody buy those balls? I think I think my cousin did twice, and... We we bought it for our dog once. She popped it as soon as we got it home. Well, well, that about wraps it up here. All right. So, be kind, rewind, and we'll see you next time.